We begin with breaking news. Within the past two hours, a jury recommended Frazier Glenn Cross be sentenced to death for killing three people. Cross convicted last week of capital murder for shooting and killing three people in Overland Park in April of last year. Two were killed at the Jewish Community Center and one at Village Shalom. 41 Action News reporter Amy Holly is at the Johnson County Courthouse in Olathe with more on the jury's decision. Amy. Well, in just a short hour and a half, the seven men and five women who made up that jury today decided that Frazier Glenn Cross should be put to death for the three shooting deaths of people in April of 2014 at two Jewish facilities in Overland Park. Today, jurors read the verdict. Prosecutors told jurors today it was a wicked, a cruel and vile crime that deserved the punishment of death. Many of the victims' families were in the courtroom when the punishment was read today. Each other handed, handed each other clean is crying, but the jury did not react. Prosecutors said the anti-Semite put many, many lives in danger that April day. He had no regard, no remorse, instead elation for what he did. The judge warned Cross today not to act up when the verdict was read, but you're about to see Cross had no regard for the judge either. By that, the defendant committed the crime in an especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel manner. And so, therefore, unanimously sentence the defendant to death. Thank you. And it was done for a good day as well. Everyone Mr. Else. Miller, Thank you, Mr. Miller, you're not the talk right now. What are you going to do about it? Take care. Uh, death to the Jews. Well, Cross did dare jurors to give him death today, which is exactly what they did. He, earlier today, he also told them that he loves to hate. In fact, he says it's the first thing he thinks about, last thing he thinks about when he goes to bed at night. One of the victims who was there today for the death sentence said that it's actually love that conquers all. Sentencing is November 10th when Cross will have to sit and listen to the victims and victims' families about what they thought that fateful day. In Johnson County, Amy Holly, 41 Action News. Thank you, Amy. And of course, it's important to remember the victims in this case. Reed Underwood and his grandfather, William Corcoran, were at the Jewish Community Center that day so Reed could try out for the KC Superstars, an American Idol style competition. Terry Lamano killed at the nearby Village Shalom Retirement Center. She was visiting her mother, who's a resident there, as she often did on Sundays. Today, representatives from both families addressed the media after court. Take a listen. Today, we have witnessed justice in action. We extend to the jury our heartfelt gratitude for their time and attention throughout the trial. Three people's lives were taken needlessly because of ignorance and unfounded hatred. My wife lived an exemplary life displayed by her belief in God, her Catholic faith, and her belief in service before self. This one act of such evil and horror was met by 1,000 acts of love and kindness, and so many of those were from the, those of the Jewish faith. And District Attorney Steve Howe also releasing a statement today saying, in part, hopefully this verdict and completion of the trial will allow those impacted to begin healing. Now, a death penalty case in Kansas is rare. The now Casey's Allison Bruner joins us in the newsroom with some of the reasons we haven't seen one of these kind of cases in decades. Allison? It's very rare, Krista. In fact, it's been more than 50 years since someone's been put to death in Kansas. Part of the reason capital punishment was unconstitutional for many years. The last execution involved George Ronald York and James Douglas Latham back in 1965. The Army privates were convicted in a crime spree that crossed state lines back then. Now, today, history being made after those jurors recommended that Frazier Glenn Cross get the death penalty. Before the verdict, the Johnson County District Attorney told jurors Cross didn't have remorse after killing his victims and therefore they shouldn't have remorse for him either. Now right now the death penalty is legal in Kansas only with lethal injection. Krista.